is a magic number Yes it is It's a magic number Somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity You get three As a magic number Hello everyone, this is David for Studio One Expert So here it is the long-awaited and highly anticipated version 3 of Studio One. In this video we will have a look at what changed in the console. For better or worse, we will see. So as far as the looks are concerned, you can see the biggest change right away. We have now colorized channel strips. Yes, this was uh, maybe one of the top five feature requests. And it is really very nice to have in, in uh, songs with large track counts. But if you don't like this, this is just optional and I'll show you where you can set this up. On the left here we have a new wrench icon and at the very bottom we have the option Colorize Channel Strips. You can see like this, it's like it was before, of course with the new graphical user interface. And if you engage it then we have the colors everywhere. We have some other very nice new features here too. The first one is you can keep your effects channels always to the right of the console. In the past, when you inserted, let's say, a reverb to the send section here, a new FX channel would have been created right next to this channel, but now it's here on the right, next to all my other FX channels. You can do the same with your bus channels by engaging this option. Then they appear also here on the far right of the console and here are my effects channels. I personally would have preferred to have my effects channels on the far right and the buses on the left side of this, but I guess this is a question of taste and you can't have everything, right? The good news is if you uncheck this option, then all your bus channels go back to where they were before. That's very neat. Then we can link uh, the show and hide of the tracklist and the console together. This means that uh, if you hide a track in the range view, let's say this drums track here, then it will also get hidden in the console. Let me close the tracklist again. And finally we can link the expand and collapse of folder tracks with the show and hide list. This means if we have um, a folder track in the range view like I have here. If you open the folder then you will see these channels in the console. If you close it they will be gone. Very cool. Okay so with that we covered all options. Let's have a look now at this channel list on the left uh, which was called Banks in Studio One 2. Now you can see that all channels are numbered which also greatly helps to have an oversight. Um, and if you have some groups here on the right you can see which tracks are grouped together. These are just small but really useful additions which can really help you to find channels or tracks quickly. Okay, let's close the channel list for now and have a look at more new features. This is something that also got requested by a lot of users and the faders are resizable now. You can just grab them here and pull them up or down and this also increases the size of the meters. This will be very useful for people who use touch screens, I'm sure. I have heard from a few users that this function is a bit buggy still because it seems to lose the size um, when you add sometimes sense or double click somewhere. So I'm sure this will get ironed out maybe in the next or one of the next updates. Then another small thing but really nice. As you can see buses and effects channels now have blue fader caps. So it's much easier to find them quickly. And you probably have noticed a new button on all tracks. And this brings you to the new channel editor, which we will have a look at in a future video. Okay, and to the next new feature. Now we have gain reduction metering on the individual channels. As far as I know, that only Pro Tools HD has this feature for which you have to shell out serious amounts of cash, so it's very nice to have this in Studio One. Um, I have a compressor here on this bass track, let's have a look how this works. We don't need to hear the music now, so I just muted the main out. 
So you can see here in yellow, you can see the amount of gain reduction going on by the compressor. And this is always a combined gain reduction. So it means if you have two or several Dynamics plugins on a channel, then the gain reduction get added. So for example, if you have two compressors and one is compressing 5 dB, the other one also 5 dB, then you will see uh, minus 10 dB here on the meter. Unfortunately, it only works for native Studio One plugins so far. I don't know if it will be possible to use this feature with third-party plugins. It would be fantastic, but uh, yeah, I can't tell you anything about that right now. Maybe. Okay, as for the next new feature, this is something which is actually, as far as I know, undocumented by Presonus. Although it's, I think it got also requested by a lot of people, and I am very happy to see this function. So have a look at this. Let's mark these three tracks, grab a plugin from here, and drag it to the first. Boom! It got inserted on all three tracks. So you can now highlight channels and drag a plugin to one of them, and it gets inserted on all tracks. Uh, this is really a big help for people who do a lot of mixing. So I welcome that very much. You can also remove um, all the plugins at the same time. But uh, you got to be a bit careful because, for example, if I insert one more plugin here, and then let's just say one more just on this track, and if I now highlight all these tracks again, I can go to one and select remove all, but you see it removes every insert on all tracks. So maybe this function needs a little bit refinement still. And finally, also requested by a lot of people, now we can have mono buses in Studio One. All you have to do is here simply click on this icon which you already know from the tracks in the arrange view and you can switch between mono and stereo for buses. Okay, so there you have it. These are the new features in the console of Studio One 3. My personal verdict, I think that uh, many of these things are really useful and very good additions, but I've got to be honest, there are also some things which are really still missing and a lot of people requested. That would be, for example, a polarity switch on all tracks, still missing. Then an easy way to adjust uh, the panorama of stereo tracks, the left and right channel individually, still missing. So you still need to insert uh, the dual pan plugin for that if you want to do that. With this, you can adjust the left and right channel of a stereo track but it would be very nice to have this possibility directly on the channels themselves. And I personally would love to see a better way to adjust the levels of sense, because this is still like it was, it's very fumbly, it's, it's uh, not high resolution. I personally would love to see, like in Pro Tools, I gotta admit this is really very well done in Pro Tools, so you could for example double click here, and then a fader would open, or maybe my ID, <laughs> you could double click here and then the fader here below would turn to a send fader. So you basically would have the same fader, but it would represent the same the send that you highlighted. This would be, I think, a very nice idea to have. And then if you would click anywhere on the track again, then the fader would again become the, the normal track fader. It's a lot to dream, right? Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I've been David. See you again soon in the next video. Bye bye.